and welcome to my first review on my new channel of photography for those of us in our senior years or as they call it the golden years doesn't feel like it but that's what they call it anyway I thought I'd be doing maybe like reviews and uh, videos that might be of interest to those of us in our golden years who do photography mainly I concentrate on wildlife animals landscape and of course my grandkids and uh, I'd like to know maybe what you guys think about a channel like this is this something that would interest you please add that to the comments and what kind of things would interest you obviously I like to do reviews but I can only review things that I actually have nobody's going to send me their products to review any kind of sponsorship or anything like that for a new channel just coming out like this but I don't want to do too many reviews of things that I have that are common that there's already reviews out that are probably gonna be better than mine but concentrate on certain things that there are there no reviews of or very few if any in English and I'm gonna start this with my newest thing to my collection my uh, Gitsu 4532 let me double check on that monopod I gotta get this in really close and get my eyes out of the picture so you can see that it's got it on a uh, eye focus where it's gonna concentrate on human eyes okay anyway because I do wildlife photography I use a big lens quite a bit I shoot Sony and I have a 200 to 600 millimeter lens but I don't think you have to limit a monopod to just that use I've heard a review of somebody that said that you shouldn't use a monopod that it looks silly if you're not using like at least an 80 or 70 to 200 and to me I I'd want to use it anytime I want to stabilize if I can't hand hold it I love to do uh, like photos in a stream or by a stream where I use a neutral density filter so I'm I'm looking like trying to get the shutter speed down to 15th of a second and I can't hand hold it like that this is definitely lighter weight than carrying my tripod around and I think I have an alternative motive also. I have broke my ankle, my right ankle, three times. I have sprained it way more than that because how weak it is from how many times it's been broken. I can use this not as a walking stick per se. I wouldn't like keep hitting it on the ground with every step I take. But if I just carry it a few inches above the ground and that ankle rolls, I do believe that this will support me from going down and snapping that ankle once again. And as you know, uh, as a seniors, we are more vulnerable when we're on the a trail, in particular if we're alone. Same people would say we sh shouldn't be hiking out alone in remote areas. But it's been my lifestyle for so many years now I I try to be more careful about being not that far from my car when it's seasonal which in this part of the country Superior Wisconsin way at the northern end the season basically for tourism and so on is from Memorial Day to Labor Day so the probably be a pretty good chance if you hurt yourself somebody be coming along pretty soon but the rest of the year and uh, yeah, it gets pretty remote. Phone cell service is certainly not a guarantee. We have gotta be careful out there. If you can get somebody to go with you, that's what I'd recommend, but I really don't have anyone else that's 
interested in it's not my wife's thing or my kids things thing to do but anyway I tend to do nature landscape uh, meaning by nature wildlife where I use that big big lens and this definitely helps stabilize it it's easier to carry like this especially with the particular head I have on here the way it carries this particular head is the uh, Wimberley gimbal monopod head which is a, just cool as hell it's truly a gimbal and of course the monopod turns on the bottom so it rotates like that up and down like that and just like a gimbal head once you get your lens balanced in there it'll stay in the position you put it in just leave it like that but anyway uh, this particular gitzo is made in uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right like a lot of Americans I think we mispronounce European names I would prefer American I'm a big fanboy of pro media gear an American made tripod and uh, monopod company really bright stuff makes incredible stuff but I bargain the value of a dollar as well and Gitsu is one of the world leaders certainly in the top three right along there with really right stuff and pro media gear and I was able to get this used considerably less not quite half but a little more than half of what it would have gone through for new or does go for new like I said three sections which I prefer the less sections, the less of these there are, the thicker this one will stay. Uh, some of them, if you get like six sections in there, by the time you get down to the, the last section, you're talking about maybe your finger wide. And I don't know how stable that is or the vibration that it can absorb compared to a, a thicker one like this. And by vibration, in my case, I'm talking probably more so than anything, moving water. I tend to like to wade into the cricks and so on, get low, and like I said, use a neutral density filter, which would bring me down to about a fifteenth of a second to get that motion. And I could use to stabilize that, but being that I live in northern Wisconsin, I don't have to tell you right now in February, there isn't much in the lines of moving water. Most of the rivers and lakes are frozen solid, and there's snow on top of that ice. So, I have to look forward to spring, which here could be April, May. <laughs> anyway, I have positive things to say about this. It works really good. And I know a lot of people prefer that uh, level lever clamp to open and close these. I don't. I've had Monfranto over the years, and I found that with age, they kind of get stiff. It's hard to pull them in and out more. They can loosen, in which case you need to have a special tool tool with you to. Uh, adjust that and if you forgot it and it's loose that can be a problem I find these so much easier I I've seen reviews with people that just don't like twist locks they're like you have to run no not if you're paying attention if you're holding it like this so the tip is away from you you're just gonna take this if you can see where my knuckle is one quarter turn Pull it to where you need it, one quarter turn back, it's locked, one quarter turn back, clockwise again, counterclockwise, 
it's in again. It's not going anywhere. Anyway, I hope to keep on enjoying this for some years to come. Let me know, guys, let me know what you think. And if this is the kind of channel you'd be interested in, maybe I could interview other photographers in their golden years and get your opinions on, uh, well, being out there alone in uh, remote places. Okay. Thanks. Have a winning day.